Okay, let's say you've just bought a DJI Mini 2 drone. Of course you want to start flying it as soon as possible, right? Well, the first thing you need is the DJI Fly app on your mobile device. The Fly app will connect your mobile device, the drone and the remote control to one another. But installing the DJI Fly app is not as straightforward as you might think, especially on an Android device. Let's have a look. Fortunately, on an Apple or iOS device, it is quite easy. I've included the direct link to the Fly app in the Apple App Store in the description below. So either use that direct link, or simply go to the App Store on your iOS device and search for DJI Fly. Once you've found the app, tap on Get, and the DJI Fly app will be downloaded and installed. Then tap on Open, and you will see the nice Fly app intro video. Agree to the terms of use, if you want to receive notifications or not, allow Bluetooth, and activate the location access. You can participate in the DJI improvement process, and next up is to log in into the app with your DJI credentials. And that's it. Like I said, really easy to do on an iOS device, right? But for an Android device, it is less straightforward. The DJI Fly app cannot be found in the Google Play Store anymore. The reason for this is not entirely clear. There are rumors that this is because of a United States ban against DJI, a bit like what happened with Huawei, but I don't think this is the case here, because other DJI apps can still be found in the Play Store. If there was a general ban against DJI, then all DJI apps would have disappeared. Another rumor is that the DJI Fly app is too heavily encrypted, and that Google is therefore refusing to allow it into the Play Store. And yet another rumor, and this is probably the real reason, is that it is because of the technical requirements that Google imposes on all apps in the Play Store. Namely, that they must be packaged as AAB, Android App Bundle, instead of APK, Android App Package. And that DJI is having problems packaging the Fly app as an AAB bundle. So either use the direct link in the description below, or go to the DJI website, find the Mini 2, then go to Downloads and click the Android version link. Now here it comes. Your Android device doesn't like to install apps from other sources than the Google Play Store, so you will explicitly need to authorize this. First, when downloading the APK file, Android might already give a warning because you are downloading an installation package file which does not come from the Google Play Store, but you can continue and download the file. Once the file is downloaded, you can try to open it to start the installation of the Fly app. If you cannot tap on the file to open it, you might need to go via the Files app on your mobile device. Now, when opening the file to start the installation, you might get a second warning where your Android device tells you that it is not allowed to install unknown apps from this source. This source could be the browser you use to download the file, or it could be the Files app on your device from where you opened the file. Either way, go to the settings as indicated, and activate the Allow from this source option for the browser or files app that you used. At that point, you can install the app, and when it is done, tap on Open to continue. Agree with the terms of use, give the necessary photo and location permissions, and you will again see the nice DJI Fly app intro yeah! video. After that, confirm again the GPS usage, indicate if you want to participate to DJI's improvement project or not, and finally log in with your DJI credentials. The next step is to connect your mobile device to the remote control and to the DJI Mini 2 drone. If you like this video, click the like button and subscribe to stay tuned for more tutorials on the DJI Mini 2. Take care and see you in the next one. Bye bye.